Welcome to the tutorial for Unfair Wheel. Let's just get right into it. After launching the app, press the setting button in the lower right corner first. On the setting screen, you will see that there is a text box in the center where you can enter up to 100 labels. Let's enter a title first. To the right of that, those numbers mean the title size and label size, which can be changed. Next, enter the labels in order from 1. To the right of that, enter the weights, but this time I want them to be equal, so I press the button that will automatically enter one for every weight. On the left side there are two color boxes. The left ones are for wheel and the right ones are for label. Press the save button on the action bar to save the wheel you have created. Next, let's set the result message. You can set the result message by pressing the description right there. When you're ready, press the spin button on the upper right to spin the wheel. In this case, cheat mode is turned off, so the result is 100% random, regardless of the swipe position or swipe speed. Let's go back to the settings and turn on cheat mode. Let's press the spin button and spin the wheel again. Let's swipe the Linda part so that the result will be Linda. As expected, Linda, the part that I swiped, was selected. Now let's go back to the settings and set up the extra setting related to cheats. Press and hold the button marked Info About Library. Enter 180 degrees in the left text box and 90 degrees in the right text box. This way, the result will be 180 degrees forward from the angle of the swiped area in the clockwise direction and 90 degrees forward in the counterclockwise direction. Again, let's swipe to make the result Linda. First I rotate clockwise. Thus, swipe the exact opposite of Linda, meaning the angle of the Linda part minus 180 degrees. Again, as expected, Linda was selected. Next, rotate counterclockwise. Since we had set 90 degrees, we swipe the area of the angle of Linda's part minus 90 degrees. Again, Linda was selected. That's it for this tutorial. It has several features not shown here, such as long pressing the settings button to hide it, loading the template wheel from save and load, etc. Please see the app description on Google Play for more information. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial.